Well, fear from the pandemic changed processes for the daycare industry. CBS source Rocio Villalobos shares how one local daycare has survived its most difficult year and now is seeing growth. Mary Gapadillo opened All About Kids Learning Center 20 years ago. We do get them prepared for the pre-Ks and kinder. You know, they, uh, daycares do a lot for the kids. The business was flourishing and added 63 child capacity when COVID-19 hit. We lost a lot of kids. Uh, business got real slow and it still is. Parents are still keeping their kids at home. PPP loans helped keep the business open, but with only 10 kids, the employees left knew it was going to be an uphill climb. I felt like horrified, in other words, like, you know, uh, the lifestyle changed for each and every one of us. As an essential worker, Mary Lou Segura knew she couldn't keep her two youngest home like her older daughter, who was concerned about her siblings being around others. I told my mom, I don't care if I'm going to struggle with school, I want them to stay home. The daycare hasn't had any infections and Segura says she made the right choice to continue sending them. Because they had, you know, other, other kids to play with, they weren't just home, you know, stuck. Probably they would have ended up in depression at home because of all this that's going on. All About Kids' enrollment remains below 50%. However, Capetillo is hopeful the worst of the struggles are over and the business bounces back. I've always told my, my staff, it don't matter if we get one child, two childs, at least they're coming in. And, you know, and God is good and he's going to bring us more kids. Working for you on Ed Couch, Rocio Villalobos. And the owner adds that there is no perfect daycare, but everyone does their part to keep the kids happy and safe. And All About Kids accepts children from newborns to the age of 13 and is open for enrollment.